Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. Uh, this is another video from sunny central Florida and I'm still at my parents' house and I thought I'd share the rest of, hopefully the rest of my goodies that I've been thrifting here. I do have one more place to go tomorrow before we leave so we'll see what happens there. But today, this is a little update on what I've thrifted. So I'm gonna go through the bags here because I have to put them all back in the bag to bring them home, right? And load them up in my car when it's time to go. So, let's see. This was a fun day here at this thrift store. Um, we've been going to two or three per day. There's so many around here. And so, let's see. What did I get this one? Okay, so I got another ruler. This one's pink, like pinkish. And this one's from the Eustace Fire Department in Florida. <laughs> so pretty cool. I, I like these little rulers. I keep them in my craft room and this is, I didn't, I only had two and I had picked up one in North Carolina recently and now I've picked up two more in Florida. I only get them really, they're really cheap. This is 75 cents. So uh, super cheap and uh, I like the colored ruler. So I got one, another one for, added to my collection there. And then uh, some guest checks. I found a whole well, I have more somewhere. I'll show you later when I find them. There must be another bag or something, or in my craft room. But there's about five of these guest check uh, pads in a little baggie, and they're the paper ones. So both copies are papery instead of the ones I have at home right now. They usually get our cardstock on the first layer and paper underneath. And these are two layers of paper, but I thought since they, were, since they were different, I would try them out and see how I like the two layers of paper. And uh, some of these things I will be sharing in my Etsy. Some of these things I've purchased in Florida, I will be sharing. Uh, let's see, I have bought two of these little cupcake um, packets. They're both the same. And they're their little mini cupcake papers. So I've already started crafting with them, but you can see how small they are in my hand. And there's some pinkish, these pinkish floral ones. And you know, you can make little flowers and things with these. And then there's a pretty green one in here. Let me show you real quick. It's out of the plastic so you don't get any glare here, but a really pretty green one with flowers on it. And they're small, so I thought that would be fun. And, you know, they're cheaper than if I were to buy them new in the store, you know, brand new in a store. These were in a thrift store, so they were a lot cheaper, and they were never opened. They were brand new, never used, you know, but they're in a thrift store, so I got a good price on those. Uh, these, these were in... Uh, that same store and very cool. I had been looking at these on eBay and never purchased any. I think, I don't know if I just wasn't ready to buy them or wasn't ready to pay, you know, the price plus, plus shipping, but I saw them there. So I got, they were a good price and, you know, I didn't have to pay shipping because I was buying them in person. And these are cigar labels and there's a bunch in here. There's two sets like this. So these are tiny little gold labels you can see let me show you what they say on them they're stacked like this I don't know how many is there but there's a bunch there there's two of these sets with a string tied around and hold them together so those were in there in this little pouch and then this one a yellow one with a bird on it in the middle really pretty and so there, you know, let me show you how many were there on the gold one. I don't know if I showed you that, but you can't really, I have no idea how many is here, but if you can see, that's a lot of paper, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's a hundred there. I don't know if there's a 200. I don't know if there's 500. It doesn't say on the bag. So, uh, and then this one here is a burgundy and gold label. And there's a bunch there too, you can see. So I was excited to find those. I had never seen anything like that at a thrift store before. So that was very awesome. I was like, oh my goodness, when I found them. And then they were a decent price, you know. 
Yeah, let's see. Uh, here is a bag of, okay, can you see what these are? <laughs> this is a giant, it's not a giant bag, but there is a, it's a bag full of postage stamps. And they're used, but some of them are cut or taken off. They have a postmark, but they're taken off somehow without, without the paper back. Like this, these right here. See, they have no paper on the back. Now this one doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, it has a purple. Well, you can see the postmark on this one. Like, see, this one looks like it has a purple postmark. I don't know if that's part of the stamp or. And then some of them are on paper, like from the from the envelope, like this one. So a whole bag of those. Yeah, when I took it up to the register, the guy checking me out, which was the owner of the store, said, oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it is. A big bag of who knows how many postage stamps are in here. But a lot, right? <laughs> Pretty cool. So excited to find that. I've never, the only stamps I've ever, per or ever had were postage stamps I take off from the mail at work and that were sent to me in Happy Mail. That's the only pet poster stamps I've ever used. I've never bought any before. So these are two fabrics I stopped by the Walmart here to get something. And I hadn't seen these two fabrics right here in my Walmart at home. And I thought they were so pretty and then they go together too. See the gold and goldish yellow gingham and this flower and see how they look together. Can you see the gold flower there and the gold in here? I thought that was so pretty that I had to get both of these. And those were only, I think they were $1.97 here. So, oh, here's the rest of those. That pack of guest checks. You can see there was, there's four in here and then that one was separate because I was using it. I'm going to put that back in there together. Uh, get that all together. And then, let's see, oh, this I want to show you. I got this from my friend, and she doesn't watch my video, so I don't think she'll see it, but this is a, um, this is, isn't this pretty? She bakes cupcakes, and she made the cupcakes and the cake for my baby shower, and I got her this pretty cupcake ornament. Isn't it beautiful? Can you, I hope the colors are coming through on the camera. It's a very beautiful pink color with little, you know, decorations on it. So, and it's a Christmas ornament. So I thought that was so pretty. I got that for her for Christmas, and it's breakable. You know, it's one of, it's like a glass ornament, so I gotta be careful with that. Okay, let's see. Two more bags. Uh, this one was uh, there was a guy at, the, at another flea market I went to, the uh, Lake County Farmer and Flea Market. It's called, and it's in Eustis, Florida, and it's. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's the type of flea market that gets bigger when it's tourist season down here when the snowbirds what they call in Florida the snowbirds come down and set up their you know sell at the flea markets here and so this time of year it's starting to get busy it's uh, like I came in September last year in 2019 and it was about half the amount of people that were here in, at this time a month later in October or actually almost two months later because I came at the beginning of September and this year we came at the end of October so uh, twice as many people but in another month or so there's going to be even twice as many as there are right now the place is going to be packed so at uh, in November and December December it's a great time to go to that flea market if you live around here because there's going to be tons of people there so this I got there um, this is a cool cookbook. When I saw it, I said, oh, that looks like an old cookbook. And it is an old cookbook, and it's a binder. Let me show you the big spine here. Isn't that a beautiful spine? I hope you're see able to see in this in this uh, light out here. It's in the afternoon, but it's, uh, you know, got some shade here in my parents' uh, backyard. Can you hear the bugs flying around? <laughs> There's some big bug flying around over there, but uh, it's a cookbook, and it's the, the spine is coming apart as far as this metal piece is supposed to be hooked here on some little 
metal pieces together, but it holds in all of these booklets. So these are booklets, and there's a bunch in here. Let me show you this side. See all these? These are all booklets. So like this is the first one. It's a collection, and uh, can you see this? It's very pretty. Like uh, I think it was 1955, something like that. I looked up the date already yesterday, and. I don't know if I can flip through here on video, but just to give you a look at how cute and cool this is. I mean, look at the pictures and the colors. And then there's, of course, the pretty food pictures on the cover, but all of these neat different colors in each of the booklets of graphics and uh, 1955 colors and pictures. And the whole thing is like that. There's a bunch in here, so I don't know what uh, exactly I'm going to do with this. Uh, at first, I thought I would separate it out and set, sell the booklets separate in my Etsy. And I thought, well, maybe I should keep it all together and sell it that way. There's a date right here of 1964 that someone wrote in here. But the copyright is 1955. So I just thought this was the coolest thing. And so I picked it up yesterday, and at that same vendor at the flea market, I got this book here, Betty Crocker, Dinner in a Dish, pretty cover. It's one of the, the metal coil binding books. Here are the pages inside, very nice. It's a larger page, very nice graphics and pictures. And this one is, I'll tell you the date. And I'm probably just going to put this in my Etsy when I get home. But it is 19, uh, let me see here, it's very tiny. 19, I think it is 1965. Yeah, I think it's 1965. So very cool. Very nice graphics. It, I don't see any writing or tears in here. It is a li little worn on the cover, especially on the spine right here. You see this right there coming coming apart, but I still, still think it's beautiful. And it could be used to make a journal if you wanted to. And then these three other books I got there. This one I liked for the pictures. Picture Dictionary, and it's a smaller one. As far as I see, some bigger, like really big ones, when they're when they're a picture dictionary. So then sometimes they make those really large. This is a smaller one, and I liked the pretty colors and the way this was set up. So I got that. And then they, these two are vintage. I'm not sure what year this one was. Does it have a date in here? Let me see if I can find a date real quick. I'm probably going to use this one myself, but you never know. If I get home and I say, oh. I don't have room for this, so I'm going to have to sell it. And then I do, and then I put it in my Etsy, but uh, I don't see a date right off on that one. This was a nice little Mickey Mouse vintage uh, book. Uh, it, you know, has some wear, of course. It's an old book, and I think it's really charming. I love the inside of the cover, and the neighbors are working out in their yard, so if you hear people, that's the neighbors. <laughs> You hear birds out here um, and bugs flying around. Uh, it's a nice day though. I think the high is 70 something today, like low 70s. 1950 on this one. So really, really, I love that. I love that old Mickey Mouse here that they have on these older Mickey Mouse and Disney books. That's a little golden book. And then this is a Wonder Book, I believe. And it's Alice in Wonderland. I don't think I have too many Alice in Wonderland books, so. I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't get this, but I was like, it's Alice in Wonderland. I don't have too many. I can make a new spine here and cut this totally off. And use the cover as it is. It's really actually in good shape, except for the spine. When I cut that off, then, you know, that won't be a problem. It has pretty pages inside. No writing or, well, this one did, one of these did have some, yeah, this one did have some, something where somebody cut a page out here. You can see that. I think the the copyright was gone here too, so the copyright may have been here. Oh no, the copyright is still here, let me see. Uh, 
51 it looks like copyright but uh, really nice what's left uh, like that one page was cut and then there's one more page this one right here was cut or torn it looks like it was cut so anyway really cute and one more bag I have here I think we can have time to get through it uh, this was the last store I went to today that I had a lot of fun in and I know this was the next to the last store I went to. First of all, they put everything in this big bag here, one of these newsprint bags. So I love that. It's really big. I was like, oh, I, I was hoping she'd just give me another one. I wouldn't, I didn't ask for one, but I was like, oh, I love that bag. I do paper crafting, <laughs> but she didn't give me another one, but that was okay. Anyway, and this is another pretty bag she gave me with this, these things. These are little Cracker Jack toys. They had a jar of Cracker Jack toys, what they said were Cracker Jack toys, on the counter. And I saw some metal ones in there. So I reached down in there and picked out these three. There's two little carriages and a four-leaf clover. And then this was, I don't know if this is a Cracker Jack toy, but it was in that jar. And it's a button that looks like a cameo. So those four pieces I pulled out of that jar and got those. And she put them in a separate bag for me. This bag right here that looks like wood grain, but it's a purple color or lavender. And these were on the counter, and it said one you can get have one for free. So I did take one. It's a little wood heart with the word love carved into it. I hope you can see that because it's hard for me to see right here. I'm kind of it's very shadowy out here as far as it's a big one big shadow out here. <laughs> So I hope I don't have to do this video over because you can't see. I'll have to watch it back. But uh, this is a Bugs Bunny comic book. Very pretty and in good shape. This one is, uh, let's see what year. It's originally 25 cents. All the pages are good. No rips or tears or writing. It has a BB gun ad on the back. A Daisy BB gun ad. And uh, this one is... 19 let's see what was it 1974 so pretty cool little comic book and I love the ads in here too my husband was saying when he saw this he's like I remember ordering there's something in the beginning here he ordered a toy soldier once some toy soldiers from a book like a comic book or something when he was a kid so uh, there it is the toy soldier ad right there <laughs> it's pretty cool for a dollar fifty you order 100 toy soldiers. I wonder if there was shipping in on top of that. I don't know. They put a sticker here, but uh, it might have been just 150. And then you have your 100 piece, a 100 piece toy soldier set made of durable plastic, each with its own base. <laughs> so cool, right? And then uh, this was there. Just somebody, a couple people had like stickers and stuff like scrapbooking stuff and this was in there it's felt flowers it was only 75 cents you know that would be a lot more anywhere even at Walmart uh, for layered felt flowers with a button on top and there's some little leaves in there too six flowers and I thought they were really pretty colors so I picked that up and that is it my next video is going to be my flip through oh I have one more thing let me show you uh, additional thing for my pumpkin collection at my house my home I found this little pumpkin and it's a little like a treasure box ceramic you know treasure box it opens and inside it has some treasures of course it's a treasure box and it has a little pumpkin inside <laughs> so cute and a little skeleton spooky skeleton so so fun uh, something different from my pumpkin collection I showed you all my pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree on one of my videos so this is different right it's not a Dollar Tree pumpkin so anyway I thought that would be fun I got that little pillow that I already showed you in my last video and this to add to my pumpkin collection so thanks for watching that's it and I'll see you next time happy crafting and happy thrifting